Hello, Masiman. Hello, Mati. <clears throat> um, I um, wonder in the non-dual teachings um, whether there is a, a place or a description for um, the beloved. Mm. It's a, it's a beautiful, beautiful term, the beloved. I don't know so much about the non-dual teaching, I only know about the non-dual understanding, so I will speak from that. I don't know so much about the non-dual scriptures. See, the, the beloved can, can be both something we aspire to, to, to experience the beloved, to experience the, the presence of the beloved, that which we love above all, that which we cannot not love. It's a beautiful aspiration because uh, it's our love for the experience of uh, unification with love, unification with the beloved, to be, to experience the beloved. And Whenever we experience the Beloved, whenever we experience the love of the Beloved, meaning whenever we experience love, we are love. It's, we cannot be separate from the Beloved and experience the Beloved at, at that moment. There is a, a sort of a merging or a dissolution in, into the Beloved, in love, a dissolution in love. So in our contemplation, our love for truth guides us in our contemplation. We're not interested in half-truth, or we're not interested in some conceptual understanding without the experience of that understanding, the experience of truth. So our love for truth leads us and drives us in is the fuel that guides us towards the Beloved, towards Truth, the One Reality. Because the Beloved is always that, it's never anything else. It, it's absolute in a way. That which is absolute has no opposite. So the beloved is love, it's also truth, it's also reality. And our aspiration for the experience of the beloved and the Experience of love leads us to the experience, leads us to, to being love. And when we touch God, we are blessed, we are God at that moment, and the understanding is revealed to us, the understanding that I am the Beloved, that the Beloved is not an experience down the line. 
in time. It's a sort of an, an unveiling. of the illusion that you are separate. In that unveiling, oh, there is such joy, oh, such beauty, such happiness and bliss and A deep peace and a, a love that is completely impersonal and touches everything and everyone. So the, the entire non-dual teaching is about the beloved. It's about love, about freedom, about truth, about awakening from the illusion of separation, about unification with God, which is a simple unveiling of the belief in separation. God being this one reality, it's a word that he used, it has religious connotations, but I don't mean it that way. This Being this vastness, being this unknown, being this not knowing, awake beingness. The, the dropping of all this mind concerns, personal concerns about health and wealth and past and future. Somehow being rooted in love, being rooted in the eternity of being beyond time, not in the illusion of past and future. The beloved is not in time. You are not in time. Although you may imagine yourself to be in time, that which imagines itself to be in time is not in time. That which feels itself to be in time is not in time. That is not an appearance. And you are that, which is not an appearance. You are the perceiving aspect, the knowing aspect, the awareness aspect, the consciousness aspect. You are the beloved, the one and only. And this waking dream is about this understanding and living, honoring this understanding. Whichever way appears to you, it's an exploration, which is beautiful. You have freedom to explore how to live in this understanding. Because what other option is there? To live as a separate personal being, with worries and concerns about the future and regrets about the past, is that it, that's not it? That's not an option. We, we're done with that. So we make sure the understanding is not wasted. It's yours yours to live mm.
Nobody's watching over you. You are watching. I love the beloved. Rumi's poetry comes to mind. Such a beautiful way of You are my beloved. I imagined you to be somebody else until I realized that you are my beloved. I imagined myself to be somebody else until I realized that I am the beloved. In love, I am you, and you are I. And we all love love. Thank you, Magdi. Mm. The way to go. No, thank you.